everyone, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com and today's topic is aura glasses. So this is a little different because I'll just go straight to it here. Quite some time ago, I did a reading on dicyanin glasses, I think is how you say it. And basically those glasses, they help people to see auras because of the material that they're made out of. But the issue is, is they've outlawed that material. So people have been trying to find other methods and other ways to be able to see an aura more clearly. So after I did that post and I talked about these glasses and how cool this material was that they were made out of, someone reached out to me and they make a variation of these glasses that help you see auras. And so we went back and forth. I asked them to send me a pair for myself to test it and I would discuss my findings, good, bad, or indifferent. I would share what I got and what happened to me when I used this product. So I thought an easier way to do it would be to go to their website and copy off what their tips were and then what I did and what I found to work best in addition to their tips. So here goes. I'm just going to go through the list here. Uh, the first thing that they did and they said was to be calm when you use these glasses. So I would completely agree. You want to rest your mind. You want to approach seeing an aura as you would approach meditating. You want to be very relaxed. You want to be very open and very receptive. If you go into it with angst and, uh, you know, just this aggressive kind of a feeling like, oh, I'm going to go in and look at auras, that's not going to work for you. You have to be calm as you approach it. The next thing I would say is to relax and don't put pressure on yourself. If you put these glasses on and you expect to see bright colors, you're going to get frustrated. If you think you're going to see red and purple and green, it's it's not like that. This is a very subtle thing. So for me, when I use the glasses, I would put them on and I would use this technique that in different various development courses I was in, it's called wide vision. It, it's almost like how when you would look at a magic eye book, you have to basically unfocus your eyes as you look at something. You don't want to look at it clearly and intently and have this fixation. You want to have a very relaxed vision as you approach it. And this helps to also ease your mind and it lets the faint colors emerge around an object. You'll see it kind of like a very subtle glow. Uh, this tip said to use a plain white background. And for someone that's newer in the viewing of auras, I, that could be helpful, but I did not feel that that was mandatory to do. I actually just looked at objects, uh, specifically people, in their natural setting with my gaze slightly above their head. So I would do this wide vision approach looking a little above their head. The aura, like I said, it's not bright, but you can see, well, it feels like their energy that's surrounding them. You'll see this little bit of a glow and some of it might be you know, an inch and some of it could be a little bigger and it will flare in different areas. And that's what you'll notice when you look at a person with these glasses. Uh, the lighting, they said not to have it be too dull or too bright. And really, basically, you don't want the light to distract from what you're doing. I use natural light and I thought that worked the best. This website, it guides people to start with their hand. And if you don't see it at first, regroup and relax your mind and try again and put the focal point on the edge of your hand um, and notice that it's going to be subtle, not this bright rainbow color. But I actually felt looking slightly above a person's head was the easiest. I felt it helped my wide vision just see it more clearly. That's where I put my intent as I was looking at a person to try to see what I could pick up with their energy field and their aura. And once you get to where you can easily see it, start to experiment look at different things look at your pets look at plants i started to play around with it in that way and you'll realize it's a lot easier to do just keep your focus slightly above the object that you're looking at and for more information go to their page their website is www.officialauraglasses.com so you can go there read a little bit more about it and there was also i wanted to include my video, kind of a revisit of that with the dicyanin glasses. So 
all in all, that's what I got. I hope you enjoy this product and give it a try and share what your findings are uh, with me. I'd be curious to see how this works out for you or if you have other tips that you'd like to add to this. So I will leave you with that. Again, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Thank you. Bye.